Hello Jason, I wanted to show you your monitor. Uh, that flicker is just the difference between the uh, camera refresh and the monitor. And it's in pretty good shape um, overall. I've uh, let it brighten up here, so it's pretty decent. I mean, this is a normal room, and it looks like it's, you know, very usable. Um, cosmetic condition is excellent. I think there's only one little, I guess that's a surface. It's not even a scratch, it's just an anomaly. Everything looks good. Uh, the machine was called the Mangler. So we'll just go with it. <laughs> you can see compared to some of them, like this is one that I'm currently refurbishing, it's in a lot better condition. Okay, so for your cube, I'm going to keep it one more day. So I've got it completely disassembled. And this is actually <clears throat> one of the early, early model cubes. So it has the 10 screws. And there's normally three, and it makes it really easy to to, uh, to take apart using these. Uh, now let's see if you can see them here. See, there would be just three mounts here, two, three. Instead, this one has ten little screws, indicating it was one of the very first cube cases. Now my roommate's painting these. And uh, what he's done is he's got a later model third section, which has venting. The earlier ones didn't, but I think we're going to need that venting. So by chance, it's going to work out good for us because of the extra heat by the dimension board. So basically, I take out this back plane here. I'm going to give it my stamp showing that I worked on it. <laughs> underneath and then going to replace the faceplate with our dual faceplate here now I've got your 983 power supply I don't know it looks like a grubby mechanic I tried to, to get this off with goof off got on the, the uh, power supply at some point I don't know, understand why they wouldn't wash their hands first and I tried everything to take that off um, I, I tried Gooby on Gagan and Goof Off, so I don't know what, what exactly it is, but uh, I, it's not going to affect the performance of anything. Um, I did let it sit for a while, and it still didn't clear it off. And then I've got your new old stock floppy drive. I found an original floppy mounting bracket and the CD-ROM drive installed. So, and I, then I've got the SD card built. So that's going to be the last part is uh, reassembling all this with the new faceplate. As I say, this is the easiest way to get at it with these little screws because there's 10 of them. We'll stay with the late model third piece because it has the venting. And I really appreciate your business and patience. I don't think you're going to be troubled about one more day. Oh, and uh, really cool here on this um, back panel... I'm going to try and just touch, there's a couple of nicks on it, just touch it up with maybe a magic marker because you're not going to see the back, but it does have a next asset tag, which is really cool. So, all things considered, I should be able to box everything up and ship tomorrow, and then it'll arrive after the 4th. So, really appreciate your business and patience once more. And have a great day. I thought I'd give you this update because you can see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> it's like Murphy's Laws. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.